Welcome back guys. In this video, let us have a look at some more directives. The first one is the ng-init directive, which is used to initialize Angular application data. Now let us see how to initialize two variables a and b, which represent a sides of a rectangle and calculate its area. In your body tag, type ng-init is equal to a, which is equal to five, and b is equal to 6 and under our script tag go ahead and use a paragraph tag type the area is length times breadth so a star b what we have done is use the ng init directive to initialize two variables a and b with the values 5 and 6 and then use an expression to evaluate this so go ahead and save it and when you reload the page in the browser you get the area as 30. Now the second directive we are going to learn about is the ng-bind directive. The ng-bind directive has a similar, func similar functionality to an expression. Let us see how. Create a new paragraph tag and type the area as and instead of using the expression this time, let us make use of the ng, ng bind directive. Specify a span tag and as an attribute type ng bind is equal to, and this time you specify what data you want to bind and display in the HTML page. So it's going to be the area, so it is again a star b. So a star b. Go ahead and save it. So when you reload the page, we have the area is 30, the area is 30. So we see that the expression and the ng bind have a similar functionality. Now, it is not necessarily numeric values that we can initialize. We can also initialize string or an array or even objects. Let us see a few examples. Let us go ahead and initialize a string. So first name, is equal to a string so codes and the first name is Chandler and the second name or the last name is equal to bank and then close now instead of typing the area let's say paragraph tag I'm going to say full name is f name plus you're going to concatenate the first name and the last name to display the full name so the first name plus the last name is going to give the full name similarly let us use the ng bind directive as well so full name is span and then ng bind is equal to f name plus single quotes plus l name. Go ahead and save it. When you reload the page, full name is Chandler Bing, full name is Chandler Bing. Now we can also use an array. So let us type a new array. X is equal to, or even numbers maybe. Even is equal to two, four, six, eight. And we can have all right, let's just remove the text. We can directly have the value. So if I type x of 2 and in this ng bind directive again if I type x of 1 go ahead and save it reload it I have done some mistake 
So we have x of 2, uh, sorry, even of 2, and we have even of 1, save it, reload it, get 6 and 4. So even of 2 is 6 because it starts with an index of 0, 0, 1, 2. So even of 2 is 6 and even of 1 is 4. So that's how, that's that's pretty much it about ng init and ng bind directive. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.